Imagine a group of brilliant mathematicians working in secret, writing under a single mysterious name, Nicholas Burbaki. No, it's not the name of a forgotten genius. It's a pseudonym for a collective of some of the greatest mathematical minds of the 20th century. But why would they hide behind a fictional name? What was their goal? In the 1930s, a group of young French mathematicians, frustrated by the lack of rigor and uniformity in mathematics, came together to revolutionize the field. Their mission? To rebuild mathematics from the ground up, using a highly formal and abstract approach, with a foundation rooted in set theory. They chose the name Nicolas Bourbaki to present their work anonymously, allowing the ideas to stand alone without being tied to the reputation of any single mathematician. Through Bourbaki, they sought to create a single, comprehensive, and consistent mathematical framework. They worked in secrecy, producing a series of highly influential books called Elements de Mathematique, covering areas like algebra, topology, and analysis. These texts were designed not only to teach mathematics, but also to reshape the way the discipline was thought about and practiced. Over the next 20 minutes, we'll dive deeper into who Nicolas Bourbaki was, their motivations, their major contributions, and how this group of mathematicians forever changed the landscape of modern mathematics. Let's take a step back to the early 20th century. At that time, mathematics was in a bit of a crisis. Different fields of math were growing rapidly, but in somewhat chaotic and disconnected ways. Notations varied from country to country, and even within Europe, mathematicians used different conventions. As a result, students struggled to follow these diverse approaches, and many areas lacked the rigorous foundations necessary for long-term progress. In 1934, a group of young, ambitious mathematicians in France, including André Weil, Henri Carton, Jean Diodonnet and Claude Chevalet felt this frustration deeply. They were all recent graduates of the prestigious École Normale Supérieure in Paris and were determined to fix what they saw as a disorganized and inconsistent mathematical landscape. Their solution? Start from scratch, rebuilding the fundamentals of mathematics on a unified, rigorous foundation. Thus, Nicolas Bourbaki was born, not as a person, but as an alias under which they could work collectively and anonymously. The name Nicolas Bourbaki itself has an amusing origin. It's said to be inspired by Charles Bourbaki, a 19th century French general who wasn't even a mathematician. The group chose the name partly in jest, but also to emphasize their idea that the work should not be tied to any individual's ego. Their vision was that the work of Bourbaki would stand on its own, judged purely by its merit, not by the fame or reputation of any one mathematician. The group's main motivation was to ensure that all of mathematics could be expressed in a consistent, rigorous way. They believed that a proper foundation was essential for mathematics to progress. This led them to embrace a highly abstract and formal approach, centered around set theory. Why set theory? Because it's the most basic, fundamental structure that underlies nearly all of mathematics. For the Bourbaki group, if they could formalize set theory, they could then use it to rebuild every branch of math on a logical, unified foundation. In addition to this formalism, Bourbaki believed that mathematics should be as general and abstract as possible. They argued that generality was the key to seeing connections between different areas of mathematics. By focusing on broad principles rather than specific examples, they hoped to create a toolbox of mathematical structures that could apply across disciplines from algebra to topology. This ambitious mission to reform and modernize mathematics laid the groundwork for some of the most influential mathematical texts of the 20th century. And it's in those works collectively known as Elements de Mathematique that Bourbaki's true legacy can be found. Let's now explore those contributions in detail. The group known as Nicolas Bourbaki is best known for their monumental and highly influential series of books titled Elements de Mathematique, which literally translates to Elements of Mathematics. These texts covered a wide range of topics in mathematics, from the most foundational elements to advanced theories. But what made these books so special? Let's break down their major contributions. First and foremost, Bourbaki's Elements de Mathematique was designed to be an exhaustive, systematic treatment of mathematics from the ground up. 
The first volume was published in 1939, and over the next several decades, the group continued to publish volumes in areas such as set theory, algebra, topology, and analysis. What's important to understand is that Bourbaki didn't just write textbooks. They rewrote mathematics in a very particular style, focusing on precision, rigor, and formalism. Their goal was to create a clear, unambiguous, and logically consistent framework for every major field of mathematics. Set theory as a foundation. One of Bourbaki's most fundamental contributions was their use of set theory as the bedrock for all of mathematics. Set theory deals with collections of objects, which are referred to as sets, and provides a foundation from which almost any mathematical concept can be constructed. Why set theory? For Bourbaki, set theory was the most universal tool that could unify different branches of mathematics. By building mathematics from this common foundation, they aim to bring clarity and consistency across all areas of math. In fact, many modern textbooks and courses today still rely on the foundational approach that Bourbaki laid out. Abstract Algebra, Structures like Groups, Rings, and Fields Another crucial contribution from Bourbaki was in the field of abstract algebra. This is the study of algebraic structures such as groups, rings, and fields, which are now central to modern mathematics. Groups. Bourbaki's treatment of groups, a set with a single operation that satisfies certain axioms, became the gold standard for understanding symmetry and transformations in mathematics. Rings and fields. Similarly, their work on rings, which involve two operations, like addition and multiplication, and fields, a specific type of ring used in number theory and algebra, helped lay the groundwork for many areas of pure and applied mathematics. Bourbaki's approach was to view all of these structures in their most general and abstract forms, which allowed mathematicians to see underlying similarities between different mathematical objects. Topology, unifying shapes and spaces. In addition to algebra, Bourbaki made significant contributions to topology, the study of spaces and their properties under continuous transformations. They formalize the concept of topological spaces, which help mathematicians understand geometric objects in an abstract way, beyond the constraints of dimensions. Topology is essential in understanding things like the shape of objects, surfaces, and even spaces that go beyond our usual three-dimensional world. It has applications in everything from theoretical physics to data science. Bourbaki's treatment of topology, like their approach to algebra, emphasized generality and abstraction, which allowed mathematicians to apply these ideas in a wide range of settings. Functional analysis, infinite dimensional spaces. Functional analysis was another field where Bourbaki left an indelible mark. This branch of mathematics deals with functions and operators, often in the context of infinite dimensional spaces. Bourbaki helped organize the study of functional analysis in a rigorous way, particularly by formalizing concepts like normed spaces and Hilbert spaces. This was a huge leap forward for both pure mathematics and applied fields, like quantum mechanics, where the study of infinite dimensional spaces plays a critical role. Measure theory and integration, the modern approach. Bourbaki also contributed significantly to measure theory and integration, which are foundational to probability theory, real analysis, and many areas of applied math. Their work in formalizing the theory of measure, essentially the mathematical way of defining the size of sets, allowed mathematicians to handle more complex spaces than just numbers or basic geometric shapes. This had far-reaching consequences, not just for probability theory, but also for fields like economics and statistics. Today, advanced probability theory and statistical methods are built on these very ideas. Influence on mathematical notation and language. Finally, one of Bourbaki's lasting contributions has been their influence on mathematical notation and language. The symbols and formal structures they used, whether in set theory, algebra, or analysis, became the standard for many mathematicians around the world. This helped create a unified language of mathematics, making it easier for researchers to communicate across different fields and countries. So by now you can see that Nicholas Bourbaki didn't just influence a few fields, they fundamentally reshaped the way mathematics is thought about, written, and taught. But not everyone was a fan of their ultra-rigorous, highly abstract approach. In fact, 
their work sparked some debate and even criticism in the mathematical community. Let's take a look at that next. While Nicholas Bourbaki's contributions to mathematics were revolutionary, their highly formal and abstract approach didn't sit well with everyone. In fact, their work sparked significant debate within the mathematical community. Some saw their contributions as transformative, while others felt that Bourbaki had taken abstraction and rigor too far. One of the main criticisms leveled against Bourbaki was that their extreme focus on abstraction often made mathematics feel detached from practical applications. Critics argued that Bourbaki's insistence on dealing with the most general abstract principles made their work inaccessible, especially to those working on more concrete, applied problems. For instance, while their treatment of topics like algebra and topology was mathematically beautiful, many felt it was too far removed from real-world contexts, like physics or engineering. Some mathematicians worried that this level of abstraction was alienating, making it difficult for students and researchers to relate mathematical concepts to practical use. Bourbaki's rigorous, formal style was another point of contention. Their books, while mathematically impeccable, were often seen as incredibly difficult to read. Their insistence on using only formal definitions, theorems, and proofs made it challenging even for experienced mathematicians to follow along, let alone students. Many critics felt that their writing style lacked intuition and motivation, which made it hard for readers to grasp the big picture. While Bourbaki's work was undoubtedly correct and elegant, some argued that it wasn't necessarily useful for teaching or for building a broader understanding of mathematics. Another controversy centered on Bourbaki's focus on pure mathematics to the near exclusion of applied fields. The group was primarily concerned with building a consistent theoretical framework, but many mathematicians working in applied fields, such as physics, computer science, and economics, felt that Bourbaki's approach was too removed from practical concerns. As a result, their work sometimes failed to address the needs of those applying mathematics to solve real-world problems. This divide between pure and applied mathematics became more pronounced as fields like computational mathematics and data science grew in importance. Despite these criticisms, it's important to remember that Bourbaki's influence was profound, and their work set new standards for rigor and abstraction in mathematics. While their approach may have alienated some, it also helped push the field forward in ways that have had lasting impact. There's no denying that their work left a lasting mark on the field of mathematics. Even though they operated in relative anonymity, the ripple effects of their contributions continue to be felt across both pure and applied mathematics today. One of the most enduring aspects of Bourbaki's legacy is their influence on the language and notation used in modern mathematics. Bourbaki played a key role in standardizing the way mathematical concepts are presented, ensuring that mathematicians from different fields and countries could communicate more effectively. The formal definitions and rigorous structures that Bourbaki introduced have become the norm in mathematical textbooks and research papers. Whether it's the modern treatment of set theory, group theory, or topology, the way these subjects are taught and written about today owes a great deal to Bourbaki's influence. Bourbaki's emphasis on abstraction and generality laid the foundation for what we now call structuralism in mathematics. This philosophical approach focuses on understanding mathematical objects by studying the structures they form rather than the specific nature of individual elements within those structures. For example, instead of focusing on numbers or geometric shapes in isolation, structuralism encourages us to study the relationships and operations that define systems, like groups or vector spaces. This approach has become a cornerstone of modern mathematics, especially in fields like algebra, category theory, and even logic. Hutschbrechlech. Bourbaki also had a huge influence on future generations of mathematicians. Many prominent figures, including Alexander Gruthendieck, one of the most celebrated mathematicians of the 20th century, were either members of or deeply influenced by Bourbaki. Gruthendieck's revolutionary work in algebraic geometry and category theory reflects Bourbaki's emphasis on generality and abstraction, showing just how far-reaching their influence has been. 
Additionally, Bourbaki's textbooks became foundational in many university courses, shaping the mathematical education of students around the world. Even though their style was considered difficult, those who mastered it often went on to make significant contributions of their own. In conclusion, the story of Nicholas Bourbaki is a fascinating one, an anonymous collective of brilliant mathematicians who set out with a bold vision to rebuild mathematics from the ground up with rigor, abstraction, and a focus on generality. While their methods were often controversial and their work could be difficult to approach, their contributions reshaped the landscape of modern mathematics in ways that are still deeply felt today. Nicholas Bourbaki may have been a fictional name, but the work carried out under that name was as real and significant as any in the history of mathematics. Their story shows us the power of collaboration, vision, and the belief that even the most complex and abstract ideas can have a profound and lasting impact on the world. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the world of Nicholas Bourbaki, a story not just about mathematics, but about how a small group of thinkers reimagined what was possible in their field and left a legacy that continues to inspire to this day.